Greetings of the day, everyone. I am Dipanvita Burman. I am account manager for Indian Middle East at Nokigal.com and also I founded a YouTube educational channel along with my brother, Learn Math with Dipayan. So I'll be speaking on the topic uh, Connecting Computing Power to Human Insights, a strategic framework for artificial intelligence in marketing. So let's begin with a small, uh, small exercise. So what can you, so, so in um, like in Amazon's recommendation engine, Spotify's music suggestion, Tesla's autopilot evolution, Netflix content recommendations, Google Rank Brain, Airbnb's dynamic pricing. What is common within all of these? The common is power of artificial intelligence. So that is how, how rapidly AI has been used across all sectors. So let's begin with what is artificial intelligence in marketing. So AIM is an approach of optimally utilizing technology and customer data to enhance the customer experience. So the various techniques marketers use to accomplish uh, this task is through big data analytics, machine learning, gaining insights of targeted sector of customers, and rightly, the era is called the AI era of marketing. So coming to ways in which our AI can be used in marketing. So firstly, we can target, we can use AI enhanced ad targeting. So the concept that we use is called programmatic advertisements through which uh, marketers can purchase and sell advert ad advert as in uh, adverts. So uh, in, in this, uh, in this uh, approach, marketers approach advertisers which in turn connects to ad inventory. And AI can use algorithms to develop a customer behavior analysis. And also the customer cookie data is gathered through which customers can see different ads according to their paths, searches, and actions. Next, we can use in website personalization. So AI can be used in two ways. Firstly, we can use in push notifications through which, uh, I mean, in push notifications uh, uh, by gathering of behavioral uh, by using behavior, behavioral personalization algorithms, specific push notifications can be set to targeted customers. And also we can use in website experience. So after complete analysis of data elements relating to a particular customer, such as demographics, locality, interaction, website and device, AI displays the finest content as well as offers for that user. Thirdly, we can use an AI powered content creation. So there's a tool called Wordsmith, which has the ability to convert data into logical text. And the tool is so intelligent that readers can't discern between text written by machines or humans. And the tools can be used in profit and loss summary, real-time stock insights, sports game recaps, and also in hotel descriptions. Fourthly, we can use AI, uh, we can use chatbots. So chatbots are intelligent in providing majestic customer support in different sectors of the industry. They create personalized content for humans by accessing huge amount of customer-centric data. Uh, chatbots can comprehend environment-specific requests to understand patterns, identify problems, and guide users for what is causing that certain issue. Fifthly, we can use an AI in email content creation. So after mapping subscribers' email browsing data and website experience, AI-powered dynamic emails can be created. And the compilation of dynamic e emails can be done based on various factors. Uh, we can use users' wish list, previous website experience of the user, time spent by the user on web page, and also uh, most popular ongoing trends to send customized content via email. Next, we can use AI in churn prediction, predictions. So AI can recognize disengaged customers who are about to leave the brand for a competitive brand. And uh, AI can perform the task of gathering data, constructing predictive models, and testing and validating models on actual customers. So there, there are two types of uh, churning customers. One is quick churn customers, which leave immediately after buying a product. The second is late churn customers, which leave after a significant period of time. And we can use customized uh, models for each of the two set of customers. Next, we can use AI in dynamic pricing and customer insights. So dynamic pricing is used by brands like Sephora, Armani, and Under Armour, which use machine learning to make actionable customer segments. 
marketers can use machine learning to avert the stock that has short supply from being advertised to shoppers who will return the product. And with the help of dynamic pricing, marketers can optimize their sales when demand of the product is very high. Next, we can use AI in automatic speech and image recognition. So the computer vision used in attaining high level understanding from digital image. image. Uh, computer vision employs machine learning algorithms to find patterns uh, to acquire ver verticality of human visual system. And also it can be uh, further used in voice recognition, which is recognizing users' voice and interpreting words. So using these techniques lead to better synchronization between store visits and online content. Next, coming to the customer life cycle. So applying AI across customer life cycle. So the first stage is called the reach stage. So the reach, in reach stage marketers challenge is to track when a need is triggered and it eventuates at category level, not brand level. A key marketing scheme is to inculcate the brand into customer's consideration set. So in this stage, the, the objective of the marketers is to expand the brand visibility. Next, the second stage is called the act stage. So after the consumer knows about your brand, the, uh, the, the, the marketers pitch to implant certainty in the offerings and also coax them that they are making best choices by, by purchasing their brand. And AI can be used to accomplish the following objectives, like predictive analysis, lead scoring, learning from consumer behavior, real-time insights, and also we can use it in emotional AI. The third stage is called the convert stage. So once they come, the, the customers know about your brand, they acted it, uh, they act, third stage is conversion stage. So in, in this stage, consumers deduce the worth of their preferred brand and the amount they're willing to spend. So the marketers focus in this stage is from decision process to action process. So purchase can be completely transformed with AI. Marketers impl implement intelligent purchasing systems for the consumers, which we already discussed, which is called dynamic pricing. And the last stage is called the engage stage. And in this stage, consumers are in a position to evaluate the interest with a particular brand and can scrutinize whether to repurchase that brand. So uh, one crucial step is post-purchase service, which is also called a CRM, uh, is a top deciding factor and marketers use AI-enabled chatbots for better customer service. Marketers can also segment their customers, the loyal customers, and focus on CRM campaign for loyal customers. CRM is customer relationship management. And next, coming to the real-world application of artificial intelligence marketing. So the first, uh, first company that I focus is Norway and Air. So Norway and Air tried to figure out key markets based on flight location. So Norway and Air developed a custom machine learning model to target customers within the designated market areas. And this uh, digital marketing campaign overreach targets uh, the cost per acquisition was 170% lower, lower than the cost per acquisition goal. And also, Norway Air is regarded as the world's best long haul, low cost airline. The next brand is Starbucks. Starbucks used predictive analytics by using loyalty cards and mobile application to gather and analyze consumer data. And Starbucks also delivered personalized marketing messages to customers, including recommendations. The mobile applications allowed users to place an order directly from phone via speech commands. And this led to the company increasing annual revenue by 11%. The next company is Voucher. So Voucher ramped up its social media in 2018 with the use of AI-powered copywriting te te technology. So the tool uh, had the advantage of managing emoticons. So the AI engine developed an emoji-based social writing which resonated with most users. And the campaign resulted in 31% reduction in CPL and also higher relevance score. The next company is um, Unilever. So Unilever used AI technology to harmonize insights for trends in food consumption. The company Unilever discovered a relationship between breakfast and ice cream. Additional research displayed sweet products are becoming popular in the breakfast in the US. So the action uh, uh, area that was taken was uh, uh, considered this as an opportunity and came up with breakfast for dessert, which became an industry standard. The next company is uh, Alibaba.com. So Alibaba launched Fashion AI Outfitter, uh, streamlined the customer's fashion retail experience. Uh, so uh, Fashion of AI Outfitter streamlined the customer's fashion retail experience using smart garment labels. So labels recognize when a product is grabbed and smart mirrors recommend correlated items. 
It also shows the virtual wardrobe of all the garments used by by a customer uh, during store visit. And because of this campaign, the respondent showed 46% trust and positive response. The next company is Nike. So Nike launched a program wherein customers designed their sneakers in their own way. So technology permitted users to design the pattern to be printed on plain Nike shoes. And uh, because of this campaign, huge amount of data was collected from the customers. And with this information and machine learning algorithms, Nike developed designs of future products and also delivered personal product recommendations to users. The next company is Amazon. So Amazon is a pioneer in uh, artificial intelligence marketing. So Amazon developed new algorithms for dynamic pricing of products. And Amazon has launched checkout free physical stores, which work on AI powered sensors and detect automatically which item a customer has picked up and charge them automatically on Amazon Go app. The last brand that I've uh, chosen is Netflix. So Netflix uh, personal, uh, provides personal recommendations to every user with implementation of AI based on what the user likes and what user watches. Netflix also analyzes customer reactions to different content. And then after looking into billions of records, suggest so the best one. Most of the shows watched by users are discovered with this AI-based recommendation system. So coming to the... Uh, Regional analysis, how AI has been used across various regions. So the total revenue for AI technology is expected to increase from 7.4 billion US dollar in 2018 to 89.5 billion in 2025. And also as per data, we can see that the two major uses of AI in marketing is in task automate, automation and in data analysis. And also 51% of marketers are already using AI. And 27% marketers are planning to incorporate AI within the digital marketing strategy. So looking at all the data, we can only say that you are either the one that creates automation or you are getting automated. A famous quote by Tom and Preston Werner, co-founder of GitHub. With that, I end my presentation and also I would like to uh, the uh, audience to subscribe to my YouTube channel at Depend Does Math, which has already has 48 videos on various mathematical branches. And I would love to connect with you on the other social media platforms as well. Thank you so much for having